What's up, everyone? It's Tech Trooper 64 and today I am doing a Sony's at E3 2016 press conference recap video. It has been a phenomenal E3 day two. I am so excited for all this stuff. All the things released today, I'm already placing my pre-orders. I'm super excited for what's to come. Honestly, I cannot wait for all these games when they come out and all these consoles and stuff. Oh man, I'm so excited. But anyway, so let's talk about what Sony will be what Sony talked about during their E3 2016 press conference. Now, I will be doing a video for Microsoft too, don't worry. It's just because I kind of slept and early and woke up too late and I slept completely through Microsoft's press conference, but I will watch it after I'm done recording this video and I will give a recap video. So, anyways, let's get in with this. So, Sony's E3 2016 press conference started out with a orchestra of music. It was pretty cool. It started out with some nice music, and people didn't know what it was for at the beginning. All we knew is that it was just an orchestra, and it looked nice. It sounded nice and all that. But then, all of a sudden, they opened the screen with a God of War live demo now you if you go see the tr the the conference for yourself you'll see that everybody in the crowd were so shocked and and screaming and cheering when they found out that uh it was god of war that they were seeing on screen uh so then after after that they spent about 15 minutes on that demo um uh, then they showed a trailer for a game called days gone it's from be uh developer ben studios which they're I have never heard of them before. All I know is that they um, are in charge of the Uncharted game on PS Vita, and that's it. So that's all I know. And then there was a trailer for the game The Last Guardian. The Last Guardian is coming to the PlayStation 4 on October 25th. So they showed a trailer of gameplay and what the game will look like and all that. And then they showed the release date of October 25th. So that's awesome. We're not getting delayed like we did for the past, what, five years? Uh, so yeah, yeah, I don't think anybody's gonna forget that, Sony, just saying. Uh, anyways, next we saw a gameplay trailer for Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, the game is coming out on Feb in February of 2017, so that's something to look forward to for anybody who cares about that game. Personally, I saw it, I don't like it, it's not my style, I'm just gonna pass on it. Uh, next is a game coming from Quantic Dream, and if you don't know who they are, they're the developers behind Heavy Rain, uh, and Beyond Two Souls. Those both games are very photorealistic and very movie and story driven and they're more like a movie, like if anything. And I, if I remember Beyond Two Souls, I hated it because God, like the controls were so bad. Like it was more of a movie than a video game. Like I said, it's a great movie. It's just, it's, it's a horrible video game. Um, Heavy Rain was a good video game and it was good movie both ways so I, I like Quantic Dream um, they revealed a new game which I, I'm kind of confused if this game got revealed before E3 or did it get revealed at E3 I'm confused completely so correct me if I'm wrong but I'm pretty sure uh, the game was revealed before E3 and the game is called Detroit Become Human so the game is very similar to the older games that Quantic, Quantic Dream made you know where you can have a choice you can go different ways there's different ways there's different outcomes stuff like that it's a good game I, I can't wait for that uh, they didn't give a release date for it though uh, next is a trailer for a PSVR game um, and it was a CGI or gameplay. It, I wasn't sure for a while. Then all of a sudden, it's a creepy one. It was very creepy, very weird. And then all of a sudden, at the end, they show two orange lines. And then it's revealed to be Resident Evil 7. Oh, man, I was so excited when I saw that. Because that means Resident Evil's going back to its horror roots. Because it was creepy as all hell. Uh, anyways... Uh, Resident Evil 7 is coming January 25th of 2017, so it'll be available next year. Uh, next, we have, a play we have PlayStation VR and how we have the pricing and the release date for it. Uh, PlayStation VR will be coming out on October 13th of this year and will be priced at $399 US dollars. Yeah, uh, that's just US. You don't want to know Canadian dollars. Uh, anyways... 
Now, they also confirmed that PlayStation VR is launching with 50 games, with over 50 games this year. Uh, one of them is a sci-fi shooter called Farpoint. Another one is a Star Wars Battlefront X-Wing battle mission. And another launch title f for the PlayStation VR is a Batman Arkham VR game, which is exclusively to the PlayStation VR, and it won't become its other VR platforms. Uh, next, they showed off Final Fantasy, a couple of gameplay uh, trailers, nothing much. Then they show that Final Fantasy 15 will be also getting a PlayStation VR experience. So for anybody who's interested, interested in that, by all means. Uh, next, they showed off Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Now, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, the gameplay was just from the campaign. It showed that there was a space battle. You can go into a ship and you can, like, fly and stuff and go in space and shoot down enemies and stuff. It, it, it looked cool. Um, it's just, you know, it's Infinite Warfare. You know how everybody feels about Infinite Warfare. Uh, next, they showed off some actual gameplay of the campaign from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4. Uh, or no, sorry, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. I always get that mixed up. Uh, remastered. Uh, it, the game looked really, really good. It looked different, completely different from the old game, but it, it looked good. So, for anybody looking forward to that, it's there. Uh, they also confirmed that Crash Bandicoot will be getting a remastered... Uh, I'm not sure if they said if it was a remastered collection or if they're individually remastering uh, the three games, but Crash Bandicoot 1, Crash Bandicoot 2... Uh, I think it's called The Wrath of Cortex, I think. And Crash Bandicoot 3, Warped. Those were all going to be remastered for the PS4. I think exclusively to the PS4. And that Crash Bandicoot will be getting his own exclusive Skylander. But um, as I said in my Crash Bandicoot video, uh, that the Skylander can be played on any platform. It's not locked to Sony's platform like the uh, Nintendo Amiibo slash Skylanders are. Uh, next is Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens was shown. Um, pretty much they showed off that there's going to be PlayStation exclusive content, which is great, of course. Um, but they also showed off that after the presentation, you'll be able to actually download a demo starting today. So if you own a PlayStation 4 and you want to go and see what Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens is like, there's a demo available for you right now, and that goes the same for Resident Evil 7, so you can actually go and see how that is. Uh, next, they, they introduced Hideo Kojima to the stage, which everybody gave him a standing ovation. Everybody gave him a round of applause. Everybody was cheering, and I was too. Like I was so happy, especially for what he said. He said, hello, everyone, I'm back. And everybody was just cheering, man. Everybody was so happy. Uh, anyways, so he came up and he showed up his new game. The game is called Death Stranding. It looks very weird, very... Very, like, omniscient of uh, Metal Gear Solid, but also, it like, it had a feel of Metal Gear Solid, but it also had a feel of the Silent Hills PT demo, if you've played or seen that. Like, it looked very, very creepy, but very, very interesting at the same time. Anyways, um, after that, the, Hideo Kojima's game doesn't have a release date, again. Um... So, yeah, Spider-Man game was revealed to be developed by Insomniac. It's going to be a Spider-Man game exclusive to the PlayStation 4. Uh, not much was shown about it except for a trailer, and that's all we know about it. Uh, next, the game that I said before, uh, Days Gone, was actually shown a gameplay trailer, an actual gameplay, actually a live demo, sorry, not a trailer. It was a live demo of them playing, and it looks like a cool game, but it's another zombie apocalypse type of game. And to be honest, I, it doesn't look like something I'm going to buy. But if you guys like it, hey, by all means, you know, go ahead, right? Um, so anyways, so that's all of Sony's E3 2016 press conference. It was good, I have to say. Uh, it's not probably not the best. Like, I think Microsoft takes the cake. Again, I haven't seen it. But from what my friend, because me and my friend have been texting all day about E3 conferences and what she's been telling me, like my sister's friend, in other words, what she's been telling me, man, like, it, it apparently is, like, one of the best conferences ever. So, I can't wait to go watch it, but so far, I think I give Sony's conference a 9 out of 10. I give Ubisoft's a 5 out of 10, and I give, um, what's it called, EA's yesterday. I think it deserves, like, a 4 out of 10. Like, it didn't, it didn't wow me that much. Um, and what else was shown yesterday? There was... Oh, yeah, Bethesda. Bethesda gets, like, a 7. Like, they deserve that. Anyways, so... 
Don't forget to rate, comment, favor, and subscribe. And be sure to subscribe for the latest E3 2016 news and updates. We're not done with E3 until Thursday. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace.